Division two and three state golf field is set. Big congratulations to Arlington's Cole Thomas, Lincoln View's Joshua Rager, Fort Laramie's Brad Gotta Miller, along with the Kaleida, Van Buren, and Miller City boys teams. They're all headed to Columbus next week. On the girls' side, it's the Versailles team joining St. Mary's Jill Schmidtmeyer. So plenty of state caliber highlights next weekend and plenty of state caliber highlights in tonight's Leifeld Welding Top 5 Plays. Begin in Fort Lorby, I can't see the fans and the defense not being able to see this play action fake develop as Austin Siegel goes deep to Nate Plyman, 59 yards later, he's in the end zone, Fort Lorby on that playoff push of the win. Just up Route 66, it's Minster trailing St. Henry with that big play Wildcat offense trying to bring the orange and black back as Jared Hillsman hits Jonathan Niemeyer and he out sprints the defense to the house. St. Henry the winner though. Number three, McComb and Lipsick. BBC unbeaten until this night. And the Panthers doing it with defense. Look at the tip. Picked off by Jake Kraus. Beautiful diving catch. Panthers all alone atop the Blanchard Valley Conference. Number two, another tight one for Crestview, down one, four seconds left, but look at Ethan Sweeney get through for the big stuff and the Bulldogs, a huge win, both in the NWC and with their playoff hopes getting stronger as we get towards the postseason. Finally, number one, Trent Heights doing what Trent Heights does, little screen pass and Hunter Moore doing the rest of the work. 62 yard touchdown, Wildcats go over 500 yards in offense and a big win against the Shawnee Indians. Thanks to Layfeld Welding for tonight's Top 5 Plays.